Hey Bits and Bites, this is Kankujo. It's time for another Q&A thingy. I really need a green screen. For those of you who aren't uh, familiar with this, uh, you know, th 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 through the site Patreon, people can donate $1, $3 a month and they get rewards in return. One of the rewards is that one can uh, submit questions for this Q&A. Everyone gets to view the video, so whatever, just, you know, it's just so I can keep creating what I, what I do, creating what I create, do what I do, eat what I eat. And also, yes, you probably noticed I got a haircut. It's okay! These big changes, I know it's jarring, but get used to it. That's what I do. I ain't going into a barber every month and saying, hey, trim off the three inches I grew this month. My hair grows really fast. But I did it myself. Do it. You think it... It looks okay? It just gets too long, it gets too difficult to deal with, it's just a pain in the butt and it's not worth it anymore, and at the end of the day, I don't like taking 45 minute showers, so... Yeah, it's gone. On to the questions, though. The first question comes from TJ. What's the most ambitious project you aspire to create and or complete? Mm. Um, well, back when I first started doing the comics, I had this, uh, this goal of eventually doing like a full story comic. Um, that would involve things I can't reveal, though. So, uh, my most ambitious thing? I guess I still kind of want to make a video game, but the market's kind of saturated, so I don't know. It would be one of those, you know, pet projects made by one guy, gone big, he made a little bit of money off of it. That's right, money! D asks, How did you get into live streaming comics, games, and commissions? Uh... Live streaming. Well, I... I guess I first started trying to stream on Justin.tv, but I, that didn't... That, you know, that went down. I mean, now it's just... It's all just twitch.tv now. I guess I just did videos first on YouTube, which was a jump for me because I was just, you know, it's, it's nerve-wracking. It, it's, it's something that feels so foreign. Talking and doing things, trying to be funny in front of bunches of people. You know, it's not live, so, you know, it wasn't that bad, but still, it was very, I was very nervous at first for a long time. I still do sometimes get the jitters. Sometimes if it's a series that I, I come back to after a long break, I'm like, okay, People are, you know, wanting to see this, it's gonna be good, or, or you, know, I, you know, so I better not mess up, so I get nervous. And the same thing happens with a, um, with a game that I'm Let's Playing that I feel like a lot of people, uh, you know, has a, splash, a special place in their heart. M most Nintendo games. Whenever I Let's Play a Nintendo game, or a game that was developed by someone I, I kind of am acquainted with, I'm like, um, I, I don't want to ruin their, their memories, their childhood, their endeavors. And then, just like any drug, the thrill wore off, and I said, LIVE STREAMING! And that was that. Second question from D is, Out of the six generations of Pokemon, which generation is your favorite second gen? Uh, 100% because of nostalgia. I'll just admit it, you know? It's okay to have keychain Pokemon, it's okay to have coffee cup Pokemon. Is there not a coffee cup Pokemon? There should be. I think that's got potential. It could be poison Pokemon. Come on. I mean, we have coughing. But I would drink out of that. What these questions are... Have you ever considered using a Patreon reward tier... Reward... <laughs> Have you considered using a Patreon reward tier for a periodic guest star appearance slot on videos, or is that kind of a dumb question? <laughs> no questions are dumb. I don't... I actually don't know why that... People say that. There's a lot of dumb questions out there. But no, it, it's a valid question. I have considered it. It's just that letting people in on my creative process is kind of scary. Yeah, you know, what if someone has this idea that they're just, they want to do so bad, but I'm like, I can't do that on my site. I can't do this, I can't do that, I don't want to do this or that. I have authority issues, I have issues sharing my creative process. And it's just, yeah, if, especially people are like pledging for it, uh, I'd feel like, I mean, even I would feel like they're entitled to that reward. So it would be hard to say no, it, it would it'd just be too complicated, I think, if I had more time. Though, uh, maybe we, uh, there could be like a Patreon exclusive comic, but I don't have more time. Maybe when Lily starts school this fall. Second question from Wolfie is, how is that new tablet setup working for you? It's working great. Uh, I talked about this in the, le in the last Let's Talk Joe, but this might knock into the microphone, but see this, see this, see this tablet, this is my tablet. I'm not, see my, I'm not touching it. It's up, it's propped up. And it's, you know, it maneuvers up and down. I can't show you because of the microphone, but it's awesome. It helps so much. Uh, I don't feel the pain so much. It's nice. I can draw for longer periods without it being just ridiculous. So thank you, patrons. Thank you, everyone who supports me and made it to where I had the little bit of extra cash to, to you know, to grab a hold of that. I've been wanting that for like two years. Do you cook? How dare you? Yeah, I cook. Uh, a lot less than I used to. Mainly just because Tenorio and I have different ideals on, on how clean a kitchen should be. So usually when I walk into the kitchen, I'm like... Oh god. 
Oh, what is that? Oh, th oh, that's dripping down the counter, and I and I just get grossed out, and I just leave. So she usually does cooking. I, I cook on the weekends, though. I enjoy cooking Asian dishes. Uh, my grandmother is Japanese, and she grew. I grew up, uh, you know, being fed that kind of stuff. The 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 secret to traditional Asian cuisine is that it's actually rather simple. You know, you, you go to like, I'm sure many of you heard, you know, Chinese buffets is not like what people eat in China. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I love, uh, this is gonna sound kinda ghetto, but I love making variations on just ramen noodles. Uh, I've never actually had like fresh made ramen. I know, I, I know the recipe and I don't really have like a noodle slicer thingy i want one of those are expensive and then you gotta like mount it on your counter and we're in an apartment for rent and just i don't there's no room you know oh there's plenty of time for when i'm like 60 and i can be that guy that has like an a tent a utensil for like every little part of beating an egg like and it's like mounted things i got the little crisscross wood things and i got stuff hanging on the nails but not now so yeah i, I like to take ramen uh, add my own seasonings, add my own ingredients, do my own tricks, and everyone who knows me loves my ramen. They're like, you know, I could, I get sick off ramen, I, I ate it too much when I was broke before, and now I can't have ramen. Well, you could if I made it for you. Mm-hmm. Also, don't overcook your ramen. Don't, don't. It's like scrambled eggs. When it's still kind of wet, but almost dry, you take it out, because then it's going to cook a little bit more out. Cook your ramen until it's just kind of squiggly, and when it comes out, it'll be perfect. Nothing makes me sadder than, you know, soggy waterlogged ramen. So <sighs> why the world hates America. And the last question comes from Herman. How far did you go with your swordsmanship training? Ah, yes, uh, when I was in high school, I was in a Bukendo class. Uh, that is to say, Bukendo. You know, it's a uh, warrior's kendo, not just kendo for sport, but kendo meant intentionally for disarming and... If you are so inclined to actually, you know, beat your opponent to death, it's, it's sort of, you know, kind of more self-defense stuff. It was fun! Uh, it was the first time in my life I actually got into shape and and lost a lot of weight. Then I, I took it too far, and then I got, like, bobblehead skinny. That was a weird time. I gained a lot of discipline, I gained a lot of balance, like, literally physically balancing. Um, and it was a really good, it was a really good school. It was one of those schools where, uh, you know, you don't get a belt, like, every two weeks. You have to, we were white belts for... Uh, at minimum a year, and it's just a whole bunch of like repetitive body strengthening, and then finally we get to kata, and I went up to green belt, or almost green belt. I got up to that point, and then just my life fell to pieces, and I fell out of it, and I moved away, and you know, that old post high school story. But that is all the questions for this month. Thanks patrons, thanks so much. It really helps us out. And again, you can go to patreon.com forward slash kakujamix. Uh, you can see the comic at double resolution. You can zoom in and see all the mistakes I've made. <laughs> ask, the que uh, ask the questions. Uh, and you know, help me be able to get more equipment to be able to uh, live and continue doing this. And as always, thanks for watching Bits and Bites. Like, fave, and eh. Just an update video. I ain't even gonna run ads on it. Get out of here.